What's going on everybody, it's Matt from the Hair Transplant Channel here and in this video we are gonna talk about the robotic hair transplants and robots transplanting or assisting by transplanting our hair follicles, okay? This video is gonna be mainly about the benefits, the advantages and disadvantages of the robotic hair transplant. We are gonna take a look at some devices which are currently on the market and are active assisting by hair transplant procedures all over the world. Before I proceed, I would really like to warn you and I like to warn you at the beginning of this video in case you won't watch the whole video. So and this is something that the industry for medical devices already realized. What they are doing now, they are just selling, they are creating new robotic medical devices for hair transplant and they are selling them basically to anybody who has a medical license. This means that even your doctor, then even any plastic surgeon who is doing nose jobs, boob jobs and ears and I don't know, liposuction, can now acquire this very expensive robotic device and just use it as a marketing tool and be like, hey, I have this device, look, we have this, and he is able to operate the device because he's getting some manual, some instructions, right? Some, maybe some, some workshop how to operate the machine, but he doesn't actually need any experience because he already has the medical license and he can acquire the de device. So always when you are choosing any clinic which is operating those devices or using those devices make sure that this clinic only specializes in hair transplants or the main surgeon is a hair transplant specialist himself and they have been using those devices already with successful results for at least the last five years okay so this is a little warning for the start and now let's actually talk about those devices the robotic devices those devices are going to be neograft artas a r t a s and hearts what are the commonalities and what are the differences between all of those systems so the commonality is they're all based on fue procedure which means then all those robots will extract uh they will poke a hole and they will extract particular grafts out of your donor area they won't cut out a strip of hair like it was uh, by FUT procedure how does the neograft function and operate I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right now a little bit so basically what we can see here is this one millimeter needle is then is the punch uh, with the diameter of one millimeter and then this is attached to the construction where at the beginning of it there is a motor there is this engine and here there is a little pipeline which is leading to a cold storage uh, which is storing the extracting grafts uh, the extracted grafts and what the doctor is doing here at this picture he's actually extracting the grafts from the patient's donor area so this is the neograft technology that's how the neograft device works uh, this is actually a hand piece it's called the hand piece and this is this was the first robotic innovation if you will make sure that this device anybody who has a medical license can acquire so it's dangerous it's great for them it's practical anybody who is inexperienced can just acquire it and start performing the procedure okay so this is dangerous now let's come to the artist to the newest technology which is spelled a r t a s and i'm gonna switch to it right now this is their website what is the difference between uh, the neograft and the artist this is a more advanced of a device i would say the machine is starts scanning your donor area it starts automatically scanning your donor area and it searches for the single grafts double grafts triple gra grafts and quadruples okay and the doctor can set the machine up uh, so it can only start harvesting the double grafts or the triple grafts or the single grafts okay and it automatically changes the angles okay and it starts harvesting the graft it can actually automatically assess and scan the angles uh, in which 
the hair is actually growing so it can kind of adjust and create the perfect punch you know so it's not gonna punch the hole in a different angle than the hair is growing because otherwise it can damage the graft the most of the hair transplant surgeons will tell yeah it's useful because for example the machine doesn't get tired another great thing what this machine has is for example if you are balding at the top and you still have like miniaturized hair there but there has to be a new hair transplanted so we don't want to damage this miniaturized hair and like poke like you know create recipient sites uh, in this uh, in uh, near this area where this miniature hair miniaturized hair still is present so we want to avoid it so what this machine does it scans y our recipient area for all the possible existing hair which is healthy or which is miniaturized and it avoids it so it creates those blue circles around every healthy hair on the recipient area so the surgeon uh, won't create any recipient sites in it and plant new hair and this is the advantage of the artist in comparison to, uh, to the neograft. The neograft doesn't have the scanning ability of your donor area and these adjustments uh, of the angles uh, or he cannot really pick uh, how to extract if I want to extract uh, single or double grafts or triple grafts. The, the neograft is just the basic handpiece. A doctor has to hold this handpiece and uh, extract. It's like this micromotor uh, simplified. But the art this is more complex device okay now let's come to the the most complex device uh, which is the heart H a double RTS and this robot not only extracts the hair follicles out of the donor area but it is able to plant it within a particular direction it can control depth it can control angles right so this is uh, the most advanced technology I would say so we can see that that uh, here is the heart this is the neograft and this is the artist yeah so those are the three companies or free brands that offer uh, various medical devices devices for hair transplant the hearts actually can harvest the, the highest amount of grafts per hour so this is like good advantage uh, then we have the suction assisted extraction hand handpiece this is the handpiece only comes with neograft and hearts the artist doesn't have the handpiece the manual one because it does the punches automatically now let's talk about compatibility with number of harvest station handpieces we can see this is a better compatibility by hearts okay possibility of two surgeons operating simultaneously only hearts allows that uh, the depth control while extraction only happens by hearts dual mode of extraction precision fue and suction only by hearts Artificial intelligence camera for graphs calculation only comes with hearts and artificial intelligence camera for graphs localization comes here as well. Uh, so uh, we can see that th this is this is a good marketing for sure. They, they, they like to market the device that it's better than the competition. All right. Uh, uh, okay cool it looks looks like it has a lot of good features okay the hearts it's definitely the most well-rounded device uh, but that wouldn't make me now just go like all right where are the hearts clinics like where can I found any clinic uh, you know this is what I've been waiting for finally robots uh, doing hair transplant it's gonna be precise I wouldn't be so rushy I mean you can see worldwide where the hearts is offering their procedures uh, a lot of in Europe their Middle East is pretty pretty dense here packed with clinics from hearts and the United States Mexico we have Canada here and South America as well Thailand Indonesia and no clinic in Australia but uh, I wouldn't really rush rush in there I would definitely check out the clinic I would maybe go there for a consultation and ask all those questions like hey are you a really hair transplant specialist have you been using this technology for longer than five years show me your before after results show me your license and everything like really 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 uh, go deep here and ask everything you need to know all right guys so that was it for the video hope you liked it don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and we'll see each other in the next video